I'm not understanding him. He's obviously doing many things right, but his way uh, has huge flaws. You, you only think I'm doing things right because the profits. If there wasn't profits, you wouldn't think I'm doing things right. So, same way for the flaws. You're basing my flaws off of the way you trade or the way another mentor might teach online. You see what I'm trying to say? That's the only reason why you say his way has flaws. Because the way I trade, the way I execute today, I would I did everything right in terms of following my playbook. I wouldn't have changed anything. I still wouldn't have changed anything. If if I knew, um, or sorry, if this were to be a loss, I will still do the same thing tomorrow. So if, when you say flaws, you're just referring to like, okay, there was drawdown here, Don. This is not a great trade. There was drawdown, but. If we understand that drawdown is part of our strategy and there are times where we will have drawdown and we will have drawdown once again, is that really a flaw or is that just part of the strategy? Is that something we develop over the years? So because you can't say what well, I'm doing is right and then say there's flaws. Like you're only saying that because I'm in, I, I made profits, right? The history that I have here. If, the, if there was no history, you would, you would say I'm not doing things right. Um, so what I'm trying to say here is it's hard to say that because everyone trades different. So you can't compare how I trade to someone you've seen on Instagram or your explore page. You simply just can't. I, you, I can't say the same for you as well. I can't just say you, you, what you're doing is wrong because that's just how you trade. That's what you, if you really trade the right way and you develop a plan, you develop a playbook over the last years, you, no one can say that's wrong. Two can say, I don't agree with this. Cool. But you can't say it's wrong because if that's what that person's been doing for X amount of times, X amount of years, like Steph Curry takes a shot all the time, two, three points all the times, right? But if he misses a shot, no one can say his form is wrong. Nine times out of ten, he'll make the shot. This is probability wise, right? But he developed that shooting form his whole life. He spent the last 30 years. No one can say he's wrong. He can go zero for 12 in one night. But the other nights will go, you know, five for seven, five for 10, five for 20. He's still making shots more times than not the same goes with trading like no one could say this is wrong because this is developed around the way i trade around the way i view it not the way instagram views it right i'm not trading to get um how do you say it? i'm not trading to get fuck validation from instagram if that's the case then i'll have a perfectly positive risk to award i'll pull up my fib I pull up my trend lines. I pull up my EMAs. I pull up my overbought, oversold. I'll make up some bullshit news excuse. I'll say market liquidated me if I took a loss. I can easily do that. But I trade the way I trade because it it genuinely works for me, and it's what I've been doing for so long. So yeah, man. That's why I can't say it. it's you know. That's why you can't really say that because each is their own. Do you guys know how easy it is, chat, to fucking market in this industry? Trust me, bro. I have the whole playbook down packed. I, I know I will know exactly what to do. It's so simple to market in this industry, but it doesn't take you anywhere. It doesn't take your community anywhere. It doesn't take anyone else anywhere. It's super easy, bro. All you gotta do is follow the fucking Instagram algorithm.